everyone, I'm Kendra. Welcome to my nature themed read aloud series. Today we are reading What Can You Do With a Rock by Pat Zietlow Miller, illustrated by Katie Kath. This is a book that I highly recommend you get your own copy of because look at all of this information. You can go back and see what all of these natural rocks and minerals look like. What can you do with a rock? Some people don't notice rocks. They walk by, head in the air, hands in their pockets, missing the magic underfoot. Other people see those remarkable rocks and appreciate them. After all, you can do a lot with a rock. You could kick it off your porch, down your driveway, around the block. Notice how it hops in front of you, showing you where to go. You can skip it. First, find a flat, thin rock. Next, find a pond or stream. Then flick your wrist, hold your breath, and hope. Your first tries might sink straight to the bottom, but eventually your rock will skip one, two, three times. And that's a marvelous thing. You can drop it, clink, clunk, clatter. How many sounds can a rock make? It's fun to find out, but Always look before you let go. No one wants to get hit by a rock. To really have fun with rocks, you need more than one. Fortunately, you can find more from a beach, the woods, or your driveway. Some rocks are for anyone to take. Others need to stay where they are. So take the rocks you can, admire those you can't, and know this, there will always be more rocks to see. Once you have a pile of rocks, you can do so much more. You can sort them by their color, shape, size, or how they make you feel. Should your tiny white rocks go with other tiny rocks, with other white rocks, or with other rocks that make you smile? Only you can decide. You can study them. In a museum, your school, or a wide open field, rocks show where glaciers traveled, when volcanoes roared, and what plants or animals lived long ago. Want to conduct an experiment? See how many rocks you can stack on your hand or your knee. Love your rocks. Listen to them. Learn their stories. You can change them. You can build bridges with rocks or make a beautiful mosaic piece by perfect piece. You can even decorate yourself with rocks by making a necklace or a ring. Want to really rock the boat? Turn your rocks into frogs, fish, or fairies. All you need is your imagination. You can keep them. Some rocks are perfect. Maybe they remind you of somewhere or fit in your hand just right. They calm you when you're scared and wait patiently while you think. Don't kick, skip, or drop those rocks. Keep them close by. Best of all, you can share them. Tell someone about your perfect rock. Explain where you found it, how long you've had it, why you like it. Then let that person tell you about their best rock. This might take a while. Choose your friend carefully. People are like rocks. Some sparkle right away while others seem ordinary at first, but have treasure deep inside. Don't miss their magic. Don't walk by with your head in the air and your hands in your pockets. Hear your friend's story, share yours, and then find some more rocks and make new stories together. Kick, skip, drop, kerplunk. That's the end of this story. Now I want to show you this last page. This is why I recommend getting a copy of this book for yourself. Notice all of this information and all of these extra resources on how to organize and identify rocks. There are three types of rocks, igneous, 
sedimentary, and metamorphic. And these are all different resources that you can use to help you learn more about rocks. I've linked this book below so you can find your own copy and you can look back and identify all of the beautiful rocks that she talks about. Thanks for joining me. I hope you enjoyed today's story. Please make sure that if you want to hear more that you hit the subscribe button so that you can find the other videos in the series. Have a great day and get outside.